Hey guys, um, I'm going to do a re-record of uh, Android 2.1 for the Droid. Uh, the last camera was kind of kind of crappy and it wasn't really focused, so I'm just going to do the same, pretty much the same thing I did last video, except I'm going to touch on them. I found a few more things that I think is pretty cool, so I'm going to mention those, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so first thing you look at, you see the same lock screen that um, Android 2.0.1, is the new, which is the newest uh, firmware for the Droid. Uh, same lock screen as that. Uh, the carrier shows TCDMA 64 instead of Verizon because evidently, I mean, obviously there's not a build for out for Verizon yet. So, yeah. So when you first unlock it, you're presented with the home screen. The first thing you really notice is the launcher down here. Instead of the uh, the gray kind of bar down there that you pull up, you just tap the little square thing and your menu appears. If you notice the animation when it came up, it's a lot smoother. And the actual menu screen, you can see the apps kind of disappear up here, and there's bounce back. You scroll all the way up, bounces back. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's cards on the home screen to switch between, so to get to those, you long press to left to right, and you'll get, you're presented with a kind of palm pre like cards. There's, uh, five screens, I said six screens in my last video, I was mistaken, I, not a very good counter. So yeah, just, it sorts of switches over there. Uh, let's see, there's really no new apps, there is news and weather, which is like Google News, and it gives you your weather app, um, and the weather app's really nice, the weather channel, how does it get to the stuff, so top stories, Mm, U.S. that kind of stuff, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, markets exactly the same, no changes from 2.0. Uh, one thing I want to show is the gallery. It's been totally revamped, oh, and looks really awesome. So this is what you're presented with: camera. Gives you all the different folders and stuff. So let's just go to the camera. First thing you'll notice is you could turn it to landscape, which unlike like I don't, I'm pretty sure in 2.0 you can't do that. I know you can't do this in 2.0. You could swipe, and it's like super fast. I know I'm saying it's super fast a lot, but I mean it really is. It's crazy. There's no pinch to zoom or anything, no multi-touch, so that's pretty lame. Um, what else? Camera works and everything. GPS is not working in this build. Just a, a GPS is working, which is it uses it takes the GPS from like the cell towers. So uh, it is rooted. It has the super user permissions, so you can install your root apps. Um, oh, I want to show the new clock. The clock is really awesome. Um, it's been totally changed. It's more like the dock from a. Uh, when you put your droid in the dock, this is what presenting your yeah, this is the screen you're presented with. But instead of having to have that hack for it, you can just use this. It's really cool. Cool. Um uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty sure everything is just super smooth, no real problems. Uh the keyboard backlight does not work, which could be a turn off for some people. But I'm sure I'm I'm pretty sure there's a fix out there for it. It's just the person who made this ROM has not implemented implemented it. So once he gets on that, um, it'll all be good. Here's a landscape like that. So nothing else has really changed. It's just a lot smoother. The interface is I mean a little bit better. Nothing really sig like super that's changed. It's just it makes the Android Android experience a, a whole lot better, I think. So, hmm, it's not not turning. That's weird. <laughs> Anyways, so that's that's pretty much it. This has been Android 2.1 for the Motorola Droid. Uh, you can follow me at t on Twitter at twitter.com/slash Brandon Scott, and be sure to subscribe subscribe for uh, more videos of the Droid. Thanks, guys.